Let's learn how to make a transparent hollow text effect in Kittle super easily right now. So the first thing you're gonna do is have your image. This is just an image of this flower petal right here and it is a completely solid image you can see over in the layers panel. This is the only image I have right now, but to create this effect, you're gonna need just a couple of copies of both your image and your text. So I'm gonna select this image right here so that you can see what I'm talking about. And what we're gonna do is duplicate this image. You can hit Command C and Control or Control C and V, whatever it is you wanna do to duplicate it. And I'm gonna label this one the cutout, okay? So then what we need to do is remove the background from our cutout because it's a cutout. So then once that is done, we can now see that if I turn off the back image, now we have this perfect cutout. And if I turn the back image on, there it is. Now I can move around the front one so you can see we have a cutout. So then to make this effect, we need some text, of course. I'm gonna go ahead and type in bloom. That will be the text that we are going to work with. I am going to make that a little bit bigger. You can scale that up from the center, by the way, by holding the Alt button. And then as far as the font goes, it doesn't really matter too much. You just wanna go with something on the bolder side otherwise the effect won't work super well so I would go something with maybe a little bit bolder if it's a small word maybe something condensed um, and then what we're gonna do is again scale this up so that it is a little bit big otherwise again it's kind of hard to create the effect so then what we're gonna do is label this one as our solid text so then we're gonna drag it behind the cutout so you see that in the image in the layers here it's behind the image that is above the cutout but we need one more text so we can duplicate that again command or control C and V and then what I'm gonna do for this one is label it as the outline because it is just going to be the outline of what the text in the back is so that it creates this hollow effect. Then I can come up here and I can turn off the solid color right there with the off swatch. And then what I'm gonna do is select the same color for the border weight and then raise it up. So now you can see we have successfully created this kind of faux transparent effect, this kind of fake hollow effect, if you will. And now, if I want to move this around or do anything with it, all I have to do is select both, which you can do by holding the shift key. So in the layers panel, I selected the solid one, I held shift, I selected the outline one, and now I can change it to virtually any font I want. I can change the sizing, I can change it to all caps, uh, lowercase, whatever I want. And so boom, you see there, it's super easy to do. I can even increase my increase or decrease my spacing. And then with them both selected, I can move this up and down and it creates that hollow effect just like that. Super simple. And I hope you have a ton of fun with this tutorial. <laughs>